Welcome back to Big Dreams Tiny Budget. Um, so I, I was supposed to be doing this Vlogmas where I put out a video every day, and I didn't do that yesterday. Um, the reason why <laughs> is because the last video I did was demoing this wall. And as some of you guys noticed in the comments, I was coughing really bad uh, and sneezing and whatever. And so I just didn't feel like doing anything yesterday. I was still clearing all that sheetrock dust out of my lungs but today it's already like noon so what I'm gonna do today is this is a goal for today because I don't feel like dealing with pulling wires through insulation just because it's more breathing junk so I am going to um, move all this stuff and install the other cabinet here and I think that's it. I still have all this junk to get rid of, but most of that's going up on the walls, so I'm not going to worry about moving that stuff yet. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is this is what uh, somebody was asking about the dust in here. And I'm going to show you my little ghetto setup here. So this is a box fan, and you just go by a filter from the hardware store. These cost me like, I think three bucks each. You can get better filters, but I just bought the cheapo ones. And I have two of these set up. I just zip tied them to the frame. And then you turn those on and it basically sucks the air through. It's a ghetto uh, air filter. That's what it is. And then that way my air filter, my air purifier, the expensive filter on that doesn't get as clogged up with construction dust so um so yeah that's what I do for getting the dust or the majority of the dust out of the air after working on uh wall uh drywall stuff so anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up somewhere and see if I can't get this cabinet installed today if that's all I get done then at least I got something done. Today is, what is the date today? The 23rd, two days before, it's Christmas Eve Eve. Maybe I can get this stuff installed in my cabinets too today. I 
saw the eyes of the maker, heard a rushing sound. Caught up in the wheel, going round and round. Spun like gold from the shining ground. I got my feet on a cloud and I won't come home. I
hands Look into each other's eyes There's no one left but you and me Okay guys, I think that's going to be it for this Christmas Eve's Eve's video. Um, so eventually I'll get my stove moved over here. It's in storage. And I need to hire someone to hook that up because it's going to be propane. But I'm not worried about that because I mainly use my induction burner, my um, air fryer, and my Instapot over there for cooking for right now. I have been doing that for years, so I don't even know if I remember how to use a real stove. But... This, uh, one of these will be moved over and raised up and it'll be like a little landing spot, a little 12 inch landing spot next to the stove. And then all my cooking utensil stuff can go in there. And then um, the other one that I have is actually gonna be attached to this island that I bought and um raised up so it'll extend the island out a little bit and that of course will go in the middle so i'm probably gonna paint that white because uh i don't want too much of this turquoise in here so all the upper cabinets once i get that other cabinet after christmas um and get that installed then i'll come back through and paint all the upper cabinets uh the white Man, I can start working on saving up for trim for the window and the backsplash and, yeah, uh, the next steps. But then the kitchen will be done except for the floor and the kickboards. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited. Actually, it's not quite done because I still need to fix <sighs> this outlet here. It's crooked. These flies are driving me nuts. I don't even know where they're coming from, but... They're driving me insane. But anyhow, this is the outlet uh, a couple videos back, quite a few videos back, where it didn't go in right. I tried to replace the box. The new box still didn't go in right, so I'm going to wind up cutting out all this sheetrock. That's why I haven't uh, attached my uh, little lip on the back of this counter yet. Because I'm going to go in here and cut all that out. I have a new box to put in. And uh, just because I'm going to be using that outlet a lot and... It's loose and funky and crooked and that's going to drive me nuts. So that I will fix. I already have the stuff to do it. I just haven't felt like doing it. <laughs> but I need to do it soon because I need to get this uh, backboard put up and stained. And yeah, more work. But it's slowly getting there. Uh, slowly starting to become a kitchen. I think before I do any of the other little nuanced stuffs on the kitchen, I want to get this electrical pulled. So probably be doing that on Christmas when you guys are all unwrapping presents. I'll be <laughs> running wires, maybe. But uh, yeah, I just want to get this wire pulled in. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is drill a hole in this wall. Actually, probably a couple. Actually, I might not have to drill a hole because there's already one there, but drill a hole in the wall and then um run it up and over fish it through the ceiling and if all goes well <laughs> i only have to run i think two lines through here yeah i only have to run two lines to this wall so uh hopefully that'll go really easy i just took a shower the other day and didn't feel like getting insulation from the ceiling all over me again uh so Actually, I just realized there's three wires. Got to pull through there, but yeah. Anyhow, I'm just, I'm just not with it today. Um, so yeah, let me get my mess cleaned up here. I think that's going to be it for today. It's like already 2.30. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. I might off camera go ahead and put in the rest of this, uh, this horrible dollar store stuff uh, in these cabinets just so I could feel comfortable filling them. But let me go edit this video and get it up for you guys. And then I'll see how much stamina I have to do anything else. I'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I did not know.